So one of the issues we had is we were confused. Sorry about my hair. Um, we were confused about which side this went on. See? So the thin metal part goes on first, then your mount for like your brake calipers, that goes on second, and then your spindle. Uh, that's how it goes on. So um, we're gonna do the other side, but right now, uh, as you can see, this is turning freely. It's looking good. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to pack bearings, put those on, and then another seal, and we'll put the rest on. Here you go. So I wanna show you guys how to put these seals in. This one, the large one, see how it has this lip? You're gonna want that facing outwards, okay? So you're gonna place this on, it's pretty tough. You just kinda gotta guide it through, trying to hold pressure. It takes a little time. Let's get it, it's almost there. Okay, so that seals on, all right? From there, you have a, I'll try to show you. This is your spindle. You have a small seal that goes right there. So one thing is if you guys are hitting your bearing in, a new bearing, if you look closely, you can see that it's indented a little bit. You want to indent it a little bit so this seal fits there, okay? So that seal is going to go on there. And then this last seal is going to go on, okay? And for this one, you want it the beveled end facing this way, so inwards. Or if it's on here, beveled end outwards, okay? So we're gonna go ahead just like that. And that's how that goes on, okay? So we have everything here. I'm gonna put a little grease right here. Find the right hole. At least on mine, the, the two uh, further spread out holes were up top. So, you got that. Um, if you guys, like I lost my bolts when I was tearing this apart. I went to the hardware store and I got locking bolts. So, what these are is these are, uh, they have on the top, once you push them in, they're tighter so that they lock. So, put those on and I just saw in some videos you're going to want to do a, a pattern like your lug nuts so that this goes on flat so if you don't know what that is it's it's a star pattern so you start here then here 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 and then back to here and you just keep tightening them I'm just tying this until I start seeing it move in a little bit, so right there, and then just go to the next one. So this is how it fits on now. We have the seals behind here, and from here you're gonna put your, uh, your brake hubs on. But this is what it should look like. So for here, what I'm doing is I'm using the Torx wrench. And what I'm doing is I'm using that same star pattern and I'm tightening it to approximately like 20 foot pounds. Um, I'm doing it that much because everywhere I read online was about hand tight. And to me, 20 foot is right around there. So that's what we went with. And I just made sure everything was up and snug. So right here, what I'm doing is I'm packing the bearings with grease. And I saw this online, pretty much you're just going to put a big, I guess, glob of grease in your hand and you're going to take the bearing and just continuously packing it until it starts coming out the other side. You're going to do this for all the bearings, the inner and outer. And then once those are good, you, uh, you can place them in and uh, we'll install the, the whole thing together and it should be lubricated enough. So now what I'm doing is I'm using the excess grease to put on the races. Um, this is where the bearing is going to sit. Um, I do have another video up 
on how to remove and replace the races. But I'm just using the excess grease, filling it up um, for the races so that the bearing has a good smooth area to rotate on. So once you have the bearings in place, you're gonna to wanna to put the seal on top. And from here, I just used a metal block and I hit it with a hammer to make sure that the seal went in properly. Once you have that seal on, you should be good to place these on. Got our seal and everything in there. We're gonna go ahead and put that on. So now I'm just putting some grease on the spindle so that the hub will slide on and uh, should have a good fit. It may take a little adjusting, but just try to keep uh, moving it on forward so that you can place the bearing in. So here I'm just placing the bearing in and uh, making sure it fits all good. Sometimes you may have to use a little tool to make sure that it's pushed in there all the way. So now we're gonna put this lock, lock nut in, and you wanna make sure that this little point, if you can see, is facing outwards. Put this on. So you're gonna put that little lock nut in there. It might be tough to get around. You might have to use a little tool to get in there. But once it's in, you're gonna go ahead and start tightening it. So for right here, we're gonna uh, tighten this. It says 50, uh, 50 pounds of torque uh, pressure. So for that, we're gonna do 50, but I've also seen videos. Um, you do 50 and turn it back a quarter turn. But what I've seen is that just making sure that this spins and stops pretty much how that is. So uh, I'm gonna get the torque wrench and uh, we'll get there. pretty good for me. So here, this is where we're installing our worn locking hubs. And uh, as you can see, sometimes it's, the axle isn't sticking all the way out for that little lock ring washer to get on there. So I just got a piece of metal and uh, I protected our axle and I pushed it a little bit using some leverage to pop it out enough for my dad to uh, put the lock washer on or the fucking spring. <laughs> next we're setting up the next locking spring and this goes on the outside there's a little spot on the hub where you can see there's a groove where this goes so you just got to use a screwdriver and just kind of place it in there that way everything's all locked in. So now you're putting the end of the hub on. Uh, it takes a little bit to get it in the right groove and then it just, you gotta hit it a little bit and it goes in. And then from there, you just put the screws in and tighten them and your uh, front hub assembly is complete. Good. So we got these on. Um, one tip, as you can see right here, it's scratched a little bit. Just because this sticks out so much, this just scratched it. Um, we are getting new um, wheels, but we just wanted to set it down on the and have a rolling chassis for now. But one thing you can do is put a towel over here when you're sliding it in so you don't get these scratches. So that's a big tip, for, especially because we just painted this, so we're going to have to touch it up. But use a towel and then... Uh, you won't get scratches and ruin everything that you've done already.